Hello and welcome back to the channel and today we've got Rudgate. Way back a year ago. Hello and welcome back to the channel, welcome back to Trad Tuesdays and today we've got a beer from Rudgate called Valkyrie. Valkyrie? So this is an American pale ale, 5% hoppy zingy citrus from Rudgate. So as I'm cracking this and putting in the glass, get the look, get the aroma and get the flavour, Rudgate Brewery, um, heart of Yorkshire in the Vale of York, originally brewed in former RAF ammunition building. Uh, Rudgate is named after a Roman road which runs through the airfield. Um, the brewery expanded in 2010, lots of award-winning beers, um, they've got gold, silver, bronze, and champion beers, and the beers include a blonde, a ruby mild, best bitter, cho York chocolate stout, golden ale, lager, pilsner, and the West Coast Pale, which I've got right here. Bought this from Booths, I think that head's going to disappear really really straw <laughs> pale clear as a bell looking beer from this brewery so that looks it looks good the head looks like it's going to dissipate though it really does it's quite a thin looking quite bubbly white head that's on there so looks great um west coast pale I suppose it's got the look it could be a bit darker i don't know how many well, won't we'll know until we taste it, but uh, West Coast, you expect a little bit darker for West, like uh, caramel malts being used in there. Uh, but it looks okay. It looks a bit lager esque or golden ale esque. <sighs> okay, yeah. Definitely got American hops going on there. Subtle, but they are there. And you could just about get a sweetness from the malt. Hops are there, but, you know, they're really, really subtle, but they're there. So you're getting a bit of citrus, definitely. Well, it said citrus, didn't it, as well? Yeah, citrus. You're definitely getting citrus. A bit like an orange peel as well, piffiness going on in the aroma. Orange, orange lemon aroma. I'd say, though, is... And slight pininess as well, so it smells good. It smells good, even though it's it's quite um, you know it, it you know, it's really pulled back, but it smells good. The head, like I said, has uh, pretty much gone, but the carbonation looks pretty low, which is good for me. So, cheers. Let's get the taste. Mm, um, it's an okay beer. It's okay. Um, it's. Slightly getting the malt, slightly. I would have expected a bit more from a West. Did it say West? No, this is American Pale. Sorry, don't know why I'm thinking West. I think they put West Coast Pale on their website, and that's saying American Pale. That's why I'm getting the confusion. So, is it supposed to be a West Coast Pale? Because I'm just missing that caramel, uh, a bit toffiness that I'd expect maybe from a West Coast. It for me, personal opinion. It's not very bitter at all. Now, that, again, I'd expect a West Coast Pale um, to be a little bit more bitter, but it's just got a very nice, pretty much consistently balanced, nothing stands out taste. Um, pulled back, like I say, hop flavour as the aroma is as well. Carbonation is fine. The malts slightly coming through a little bit of sweet malt it's just an okay beer it's just got hints of hints of everything but nothing bold um when west coast you expect something to be quite shouty about it um so it's an okay beer it's an okay beer rugate um i don't think i've had anything else from them there is some other beers at booze from rugate so i might give them a try so yeah rugate beer it's okay let's see if it says anything on the bottle so the, the, if I'm totally honest, the citrus and the zinginess that it says there doesn't really come through that much. 
Um, it's just really subtle, really pulled back. So, okay, let's see what it says on the bottle, if anything at all. At Rugate, we've been brewing award-winning beers for over 25 years. Well, I think it's 30, 31 years now, yeah. Uh, but we don't stop there. Our talented brewers continue to experiment and push the boundaries of brewing, producing innovative and tasty beers for our customers, old and new. Always great beer, always something new. Uh, triple help and American hops give an ex explosion of flavour. Sorry, I don't agree with that one, Ruggie. Uh, with notes of passion fruit, citrus and tropical fruit. It's hard to, I'm, I'm finding it hard to pull them out. It, 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 like I say, everything's just there, but so subtle. I mean, that's probably the market they're aiming for. It, 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 it's like a, a beer that's, um, if, you're, if you're just into your old style golden ales or blondes, this is just a little bit amped up from there, so you get a little bit more flavour, um, but not a lot more flavour. But if, you, if you've... You know, if you've experienced West Coast Pales or West Coast IPAs, this is not touching that for me. Um, I don't think, does it say anything else on the bottle? No, 5%. 5 is well hidden. Wouldn't believe it's 5%. Body, medium, medium. Like I say, carbonation's low. Um, head's pretty much gone. Um, I just think this will, you know, it's not offensive and a lot of people will like it because it's just a, even 5% is quite an easy drinking beer. It's okay, but if, if I did a blind taste on it, I'd never say West Coast Pale Ale. I wouldn't. I really wouldn't. Okay, thanks for watching. Cheers, and I'll see you on the next one. I've been dreaming on in my head like I've seen it. A life worth living is a life with meaning. I'll do what I love till my heart stops beating.